Good morning, Syracuse Academy of Science Charter School parents and students and Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship Charter School parents and students. Today is Friday, April 16th, 2021. My name is Kadir Yavuz. I am the Director of Information and Instructional Technologies at Science Academies of New York. Today, we will conduct the lottery drawing for 2021 and 2022 school year. It's another exciting day for us. And we have some viewers today joining us. So let's get some feedback from them. Then we will start. Can you hear me well? If you hear me, please type into the chat so I can uh, see that. Okay, if you're watching, if you hear me, give me a thumbs up, say something in the chat box, and then we will start. All right, so here we go. We got some responses from our viewers. So today on our agenda, I will explain the lottery process and I will explain the ELL preference and outline the next steps for families to take after the lottery drawing takes place. We will run several mock drawing of the names to demonstrate how the lottery software works. And then we will have the actual drawing starting with Syracuse Academy of Science. And then we will conduct Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship Charter School Lottery. So today, who is in the lottery? The application is ongoing, but students, who are going to be on the lottery, we need to re we needed to receive their applications by April 1st, any year, doesn't matter. And this year it was Thursday, April 1st, 2021, and it's at midnight. The applications we received after that day and time, they are going to be on the waiting list. So students, student applications who submitted before this deadline, they're on the lottery. Students with a New York State residency are on this lottery today. Uh, clarification for this, if, if a parent and student lives out of state, they are not considered obviously New York State residents. They are not part of the lottery today. And for kindergartners, there's a cutoff date, December 1st, 2016. If a student is born after December 1st, 2016, they are not considered for upcoming kindergartners. Uh, they are not part of the lottery today. Students must have uh, a prior birthday, then they can be considered kindergartner and they are going to be on the lottery today. And we continue receiving applications and and even, like I said, any applications submitted after the deadline are going to be placed on the waiting list. This is how the lottery software looks like. And the top part, I will select the files, I will choose the grade level, and immediately we will see how many uh, student names are on the particular, particular grade level. And I will manually type in how many students will be accepted. And this is the adjustment level we will keep. Over the years, we have seen that this is the best one. So you can see the names one at a time. The most important part that you will need to be paying attention is down below. Position drawn, we will see A means accepted and a number and W means waiting list and the number. And student names will come up on the right side. And at once, you will see three names. And please don't forget, A means accepted. So if you see A next to your child's name, your child will be accepted. But if you see W, 
that means waitlisted. Okay, so we are in Syracuse, we have two schools in Syracuse. What happens if you're accepted into the both school? In citizenship school, we have only kindergarten through sixth grade in the upcoming year. In Syracuse, on the other hand, we have K-12. So if you have a child who is going to attend in one of the grades from kindergarten to a sixth grade, and if you apply for both schools, there's a chance that you will be accepted into the both schools. So you will receive an offer from both schools. Think about it. Do not accept both offers from the both school because your child will not be able to attend them at the same time. So you will have to pick one. Once you pick one, once you accept an offer, there's no turning back uh, because as soon as you decline the other offer, we're gonna go to the waiting list and fill in that spot. And if you change your mind after that, don't risk it losing your existing and accepted spot uh, because the other spot will be given to another student because we, we don't wanna wait. ELL preference. Uh, citizenship school had the ELL preference since it started in 2017. Syracuse added the ELL preference uh, last year. So if the student has an ELL preference, their names will be repeated four times. So while I am running the lottery, when you see the same names coming up four times, that's why. After the lottery drawing, we will get the results and the top draw for that particular student will be kept, obviously. And then we will remove the following three draws. And as a result, because of those removals, the other students will move up on the list. Here's an example. And these are the names I will use during the mock lottery today, our president's names. And Ronald Reagan has been accepted and he has A1. But his name is repeated four times. His name is also on W5, waiting list five, W33 and W47. Since we are going to keep A1 on the list, we will remove W5, 33 and 47. John Adams is another example. The first appearance on the list is on waiting list seven. Second one, 45, third one, 52, and the last one, 53. We will remove 45, 53, and 50, 52, and 53. So as a result, just these two names, we will remove six names out of this list. And the other names will move up because of that. So that's how it's gonna work out. And we're gonna need time to pre prepare the files and make the final lists. All right, so we are running this online. It used to be in the school, in person. We didn't need internet. And we were still facing some technical difficulties. Computer can crash, the lottery software can crash. And today we are online, like I said, and I am connecting through the Zoom. You don't need to join the Zoom meeting and it is streamed on, on live on YouTube. So if something goes wrong, if anything is disrupted, uh, particularly that grade level, will not be saved. Therefore, we will start that drawing of the same grade level from the beginning. Hopefully not. Last Wednesday, we had the Utica lottery, knock on wood, nothing happened. Hopefully we will have a smooth lottery today. So what happens after the lottery? Offers along with the registration documents will be sent to the accepted students' addresses. And students who are placed on the waiting list will be also notified. So you receive the offer, please complete the offer, the registration documents and return them back to your child's school. And if you need any help, please reach out to your child's building operation manager. And the operation managers are, and they're also listed in the description down below. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email them. 
because I may not have the details for your questions, detailed answers for your questions. So in Syracuse Elementary, kindergarten through fourth grade, our operation manager's name is Mrs. Topper. Her email is we.topper at saini.org. At the middle school, Syracuse Academy Middle School, grade five through seven, operation manager's name is Mrs. Tinsley. Her email is e.tinsley at saini.org. At Syracuse High School, from eight through 12, our operation manager's name is Mrs. Han, and her email is a.han at saini.org. At the Citizenship Elementary School, grades kindergarten through six, our operation manager's name is Mrs. Walls, and her email is f.walls at saini.org. And if you're accepted, if you're on the waiting list, if you have any questions, you can always email them. Today, on the left side, those are the number of names we have on the lottery. In kindergarten, 137 names. We will accept 83 of them. In first grade, we have 18 names. We're gonna accept 10 of them. In second grade, 38 students, we're gonna accept five. In third grade, we have 25. We're not accepting any students today uh, because the existing students, they are rolling over into the next year and they're returning back to fill in the spots. So therefore we don't have an available spot. But if you end up on the waiting list today, there's always mobility in charter schools. So students leave, parents, they move out of the city or the state or even the country sometimes. And because of those reasons, we have an open spot and open spots will happen again. And we will go back to the waiting list and call parents and students to fill in those spots. So in fourth grade, there are 16 students and we're not accepting any students today. We will just create the waiting list. In fifth grade, 19 students, we will accept eight. In sixth grade, 40 students, we will accept three. Seventh grade, 57 students, we're not accepting any students today. In eighth grade, 28 students, we're not accepting any students today. Ninth grade, 58 students, we will accept four. 10th grade, 23 students, we're not accepting any. 11th grade, nine students, we're not accepting any students today. 12th grade, there's only one name, we're not accepting any students today. And if you're not accepting any students today, like I said, we are going to run the lottery and create the waiting list. And in citizenship, there are 107 names, we will accept 83 students. In first grade, we have just eight students and our goal is to enroll and accept 17 students. So that means for the first grade parents, you will be accepted. And then we're gonna try to fill in the rest of the spots. In second grade, there are 24 names students. We are not accepting any today. In third grade, 17 students, we're not accepting any today. In fourth grade, there are 18 students, we're not accepting any students today. Fifth grade, 14 students, we will accept six. In sixth grade, lastly, 17 students, and we will accept two. Reminder before we start running the demo, mark lottery. A means accepted, W means waitlisted. All right, I will start by running two mock lotteries so you can see how this works. I'm just gonna pick kindergarten as an example. There are 62 names and I'm going to accept 10 of them and you will see president's names because this is a mock lottery. I don't wanna use real students' names here because sometimes people think this is the real one, this is not the real one. So I'm gonna keep the level at five. 
I might speed it up because these are the mock lotteries because we want to see the result. Okay, here we go. So this is the first one. We will see three names at once. And on the left side, we will see either A or W and numbers in order. So except the 10 is coming up and after that, we're gonna go to W1. That means waiting list number one. And I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. And I will save this as sample number one. And this is how it's going to look like. And every single time after run, after I run a lottery for particular grade level, I will show the result and I will scroll down and it will be recorded on the live session. And our parents, they can either watch the lottery drawing that software, or they can also check the result just like this. I'm going to minimize this screen and I will run the same lottery file, 62 names, 10 students, and this is the second sample lottery. I will call this sample number two. And let me separate them, put them side by side, make them larger. Also do the same thing here. And our goal is just to compare. There could be similarities, there could be differences. So George Washington is actually lucky. He was selected number one for the both lotteries. I'm trying to see if there are any others. Barack Obama was also accepted in both lotteries. And I would like to pay attention to here, Barack Obama's names was listed four times. So we will keep this one and we will remove the second one from the list. And as a result, Warren Harding will move up and will become the accepted number 10 immediately because of uh, those removals. On the left side, I see John Adams. So the second name will be removed and John Tyler will move up on the list. So we're going to process the files after today's lottery and remove those names to, to finalize every single grade level. And after that, we will send the offers along with the registration documents to our parents.
Okay, so let's start with the first one in Syracuse Academy of Science Charter School, and we will complete Syracuse Academy first, and then we will switch to Citizenship Academy. We're going to start with kindergarten. There are 137 names. We will accept 83 of them. Let's slow this down. And good luck to our parents and students. Regardless of whether you're accepted or you're on the waiting list today, uh, thank you for your interest in our schools. And here we go. All right, number 83 is coming up. And after accepted 83, we will start the waiting list number one.
This concludes the kindergarten drawing. And let's look at the names. Okay. In first grade, there are 18 student names. We're going to accept 10 of them today. So good luck to first graders. And number 10 came up. We're gonna start the waiting list. We will call this first grade. And these are the first graders. In second grade, there are 38 names. We're going to accept five of them today. So 
would mark the second graders. Number five is pipes coming up. We will start the waiting list. And this is the second grade result. In third grade, there are 25 names today we're just creating the waiting list so good luck to third graders we're not accepting any students Fourth grade results. And fourth grade. Fourth grade is the last grade at the elementary school level. We are not accepting any students today. We're just creating a waiting list. So good luck to fourth graders.
And this is the fourth grade results, 16 names. Now we're gonna start the middle school. Middle school is grade five through seven. There are 19 names and then we will accept eight of them today. So good luck to fifth graders. And fifth grade list, eight students are accepted and there are 11 students on the list. In sixth grade, there are 40 names. We're going to accept three students today. So good luck to sixth graders. Number three is coming up and then we will start the waiting list. And this is the sixth grade list. Next up, seventh grade. Seventh grade is the last grade at the middle school. There are 57 students on the list. We're not accepting any today. We are just creating a waiting list. So good luck to seventh graders.
And this is the seventh grade list. And we are going into the eighth grade. Eighth grade is the first grade level at the high school. There are 28 names. We're just going to create the waiting lists today. We're not accepting any students. So good luck to eighth graders. And this is the eighth grade list. Next one is ninth grade. In ninth grade, we have 58 names. Ninth grade is actually the only grade at the high school level we are accepting students. We are going to create a waiting list for the rest of the high school grades. So we will accept four today. So good luck to ninth graders. Number four is coming up and then we will start the waiting list after that.
and this is the ninth grade list. Next one is 10th grade. In 10th grade, there are 23 names. We're not accepting any students, just creating a waiting list. So good luck to 10th graders. So this is the 10th grade list. In the 11th grade, there are nine names. We're not accepting any students today. We're just creating a waiting list. So good luck to ninth graders. And this is the 11th grade result. And lastly, in Syracuse Academy of Science, 12th grade, even though there, are one, there is one student, let's make it official, and we're not accepting any students to the 12th grade, just creating a waiting list. And there is only one student on the 12th grade results. So this concludes the Syracuse Academy of Science Charter School Lottery. Momentarily, we're gonna start the Citizenship Lottery. Let me just save these files in a folder so they will not be lost. And I'm going to exit from the lottery and then restart. And I would like to go back to the presentation, make just a couple of reminders. So who is in the lottery today? Those who applied before April 1st at midnight, those are in the lottery. If you applied after starting April 2nd, you're not going to be on the lottery today. Those students will be on the waiting list. Second condition is 
New York State residency. Student must be in New York State residence at the time of the lottery. So we collected addresses. So based on those addresses, we put them in the lottery. If someone is applying from out of state and they don't currently have any New York State residency, uh, they're not on the lottery. And for any kindergartner, if the kindergartner has a birthday before December 1st, 2016, those students are on the lottery. If the student is born after December 1st, uh, they're not on the lottery because December 1st is a cutoff date uh, for kindergartner. So this year, we are paying attention to December 1st, 2016. Another reminder, uh, the operation manager's name is Mrs. Walls at the Citizenship Academy. Her email is f.walls at sany.org. This email is also listed in the description below. So if you have any questions, please email her. And just quickly going over the number of students we have today and the number of students we're accepting. So there are 107 in kindergarten, we're accepting 83. In first grade, we don't have enough spots. So all eight, grades, all eight students in first grade will be accepted because we are looking for 17 students for the upcoming year. So congratulations to all first grade parents here in Citizenship Academy. In second grade, third grade and fourth grade, we are not accepting any students today. We're just gonna create the waiting list. So in second, 24, third grade, 17, fourth grade, 18 students. In fifth grade, there are 14 students and we are gonna accept six. In sixth grade, lastly, 17 students and then we will accept two. And once again, A means accepted and W means waiting list. So without waiting anymore. So Citizenship Academy Lottery, we're gonna start with kindergarten. 107 student names, and we're going to accept 83. So good luck to kindergarten parents and students. So let's set the speed to number five. And here we go. One thing I also would like to remind that citizenship grades are overlapping with the Syracuse Academy grades, kindergarten through sixth grade. So if you're accepted today into both schools, obviously you will get an offer and registration documents. Uh, please think carefully, choose which school you're going to send your child and then you're gonna accept one offer and then decline the other offer. And as soon as you decline the other offer, the school will go into the waiting list to fill in that spot. After a while, a week later, two weeks later, if you try to change your mind, you wouldn't be able to because that spot will be given to another student. So therefore, please think carefully which school you're going to send your child.
All right, number 83 is about to appear. And we're gonna go into the waiting list number one after that. And here is the kindergarten list at Citizenship Academy. Okay, in first grade, there are eight students. We're looking for 17. So I would like to use this opportunity to let our parents who are, is watching, uh, please let their friends, neighbors, relatives, if they are looking for a new school and, and an option in first grade, they can apply and we have available spots. So all these eighth grade students are accepted. We're just gonna make it official by just running the lottery. and eighth grade students were accepted. In the next three grade levels, second grade, third grade, and fourth grade, we're not accepting any students. We're just going to create the waiting list. So in, so in second grade, there are 24 names. None will be accepted today. So good luck to second graders.
second grade list. In third grade, there are 17 students. None will be accepted today. We will just create the waiting list. Good luck to third graders. In the third grade list, in fourth grade, there are 18 names. We're not accepting any students today, just creating the waiting list. Good luck to fourth graders. And the fourth grade list is here. In fifth grade, there are 14 names and today we are accepting six of them. Good luck to fifth graders. except that six is coming up and then we'll go to the waiting list number one. And the fifth grade results are and the last drawing of today is sixth grade at citizenship academy there are 17 names and we are accepting two students today good luck to the sixth graders
And here is the sixth grade list. And that's it. That is the end of our lottery drawing. Just as a reminder, one more time, if you have any questions about the lottery, these are the people to reach out. SAS Elementary, Mrs. Topper. SAS Middle School, Mrs. Tinsley. SAS High School, Mrs. Han. Citizenship Elementary, Mrs. Walls. Their email addresses are also listed in the description below. And after today's lottery, we just conducted, we're going to process the files, remove the duplicate names because of the adult preference, finalize the files, and then start sending the offers along with the registration documents. And if you are accepted to both schools, please think, choose, decide, and then accept one and then decline the other one. And then we will hopefully have a smooth registration admission process as well. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.